Hey yo, what's up gamers, John Tano 64 here, and in today's video we're going to be doing a in-depth look, product review, of the OIVO 4-in-1 bundle grip system for the Nintendo Switch. Now to be fair, the people over at OIVO were nice enough to send this over to me for free, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this and take a look. Now before we begin, to be fair, this isn't a product that I personally would buy for my console. I don't really play in tablet mode that much. Uh, this does come with a grip for the console and handheld mode. It comes with two single Joy-Con grips. It comes with a, you know, dual Joy-Con charger grip kind of thing. And it also has a USB cable as well as four thumb grips. So I'm mostly interested in the, the thumb grips and the other, like the Joy-Con grips. But I mean, let's see, honestly, I, I, like, I don't have anything else like this, so let's see how it goes. Uh, take a look at the box here, it tells you all the different um, grip methods that it has, as well as the different ways that you can use these grips for your gameplay. On the back, it just gives you more in-depth look of the actual product. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing. It's sealed with tape, so we're gonna have to use a razor. Ask parental permission from your parents to use a razor. If you don't want to cut yourself, use scissors. Put that there for now. Go ahead and open it up and see what this is all about. At least it didn't all fall out of the box, which is pretty nice. It actually has like a card in here, a warranty card, three years of port. I know they sent it to me for free, but I didn't know about all that. I'm gonna go ahead and chuck the box, because who needs a box at the end of the day? And I guess these are all the different grips and the, hey, it does come with a cable and it looks like it's pretty long. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these. Alright, so here we've got my Nintendo Switch and all the different grips here. Let's go ahead and take everything out of these plastic styrofoam um, bag things and let's go ahead and see. Alright, so this is one of the single Joy-Con grips. Actually, pretty sturdy actually. Another single Joy-Con grip, we'll put that there. We'll go to that later. And then this is the charging grip. This one comes with instructions. But you know, if you're familiar with the Nintendo branded one, it's pretty much the same deal. This is the Oivo one. I actually think it looks not too bad. It's, uh, it's definitely shaped a bit different, but you know, looks pretty nice overall. Charging grip. It's got the USB, USB-C header right there on the top as well. And we have the cable here. This is actually a pretty, a pretty long cable. I think this is actually longer than like, I think this is actually the longest USB-C cable I have now. At least USB-A to USB-C. And then here, we have Le Tape Trois Pieds de Resistance. Oh, something just fell out. I guess that was the thumb grips. This is the actual switch grip. This is what holds your Nintendo Switch. Um, if you didn't notice when I was um, turning around the back of the box, I didn't mention, but it does have a graphic for. It does hold four of your Nintendo Switch game cards, as well as um, it does have kickstand capability so that you can stand it on the desk. So, let me get that set up and then I'll show you guys. So the setup process is fairly simple. For the console, you just kind of, you know, slide it in here. And then you can either use it like that. Yeah, that is actually kind of comfy. Yeah, I think I could actually see myself playing certain games like this. Splatoon is unplayable for me on the Switch itself because of how it doesn't feel right, but this might make it a little better on the go. No lie, I see why people have these now. And then um, if I wanted to, I could just have it stand up like that, nothing behind it at all, 
and uh, I could put in Joy-Cons or I could use my Pro Controller to control the Switch that way. And then here I'll show you how to put some of the game cards in. It's fairly simple, you know, you just kind of put it in the slot here and then you're all good to go. And then since the Switch cards do have those little nail grips on them, you can just pull them out very easily. Oh, this actually has space for five cartridge cartridges. I actually thought it only had space for four, but there's there's no I didn't see the one in the middle actually like at all. I didn't count it whatsoever. So, this is pretty convenient if you don't for some reason don't carry a case or if you're just going like maybe next door to a neighbor's house or something, you can carry your games with you, your five most played physical games, and then you'll be all set. For me, I you know, the other one I guess would just be Animal Crossing, but I never take the cartridge out of my console anyway. So that's pretty convenient. And then it has the kickstand doubles up to hold your Switch more in place, as you saw it was sliding out for me before. But now, with the kickstand up, it holds my Switch in place. And there's a rubber thing here to keep your Switch from uh, going everywhere when it is in kickstand mode, which is a pretty nice touch. Now, they did also have thumb grips for the Joy-Cons. So they have two different sets, a total of four. If I could get them out of the bag here, that would be great. But they basically have these more flat um, grips here. Let me show you one of each. So they have these, which are pretty thick overall, for a more raised joystick kind of feel. And then they have these, which are pretty small, pretty thin overall, which are kind of more for just gripping like what the standard stick feels like. So let me go ahead and put those on and show you guys. So this is what the Joy-Cons look like with the flatter ones installed. Not too different from what the Joy-Cons already look like, but it does add some style. And admittedly, they do feel kind of nice. I don't like the way that the Joy-Con, um, I don't like the way that the material of the actual Nintendo Switch Joy-Con analog sticks feel after a while, whether you have sweaty hands or like oily fingers or anything. I feel like they get, they feel too smooth, not as grippy. Obviously the, this, these grips are new, so I don't know if the, the, those will suffer the same fate, but they are, they are grippier than, than like the standard Nintendo Switch Joy-Con analog sticks. Now, I didn't put the, the other ones on the actual Nintendo Switch because I wanted to actually do that on camera. But, you know, application is super easy. You just literally just put it on. I mean, ideally you'd want your console off for this. But you just kind of get it on like that, and then you're all set. Oh, I actually, I actually really like that. I don't know how this affects how far the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con can actually read input um, because the way that these are set up, like the way the actual Joy-Cons are set up, they're set up so that they basically go all the way down. Um, the way that this feels is actually kind of, it's a little awkward. It feels like I'm just using an arcade stick, like a really loose arcade stick, but they are nice. Like I, I think that if you're a Joy-Con player, you should get grips for something like this if you're gonna play a video game like Super Smash Brothers, or a game that requires a lot of directional input on the stick, such as Splatoon. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what you know. It's kind of what the uh, joysticks look like. It's pretty nice, honestly, in comparison to what you would normally get. But you know, you do have options, so it's totally up to you. Well, there you guys have it. That is the Oivo Four-in-One Bundle Grip Set. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you Oivo for sending this my way. I actually think I'm gonna use this a lot more than I originally anticipated. Like I said, this whole grip thing wasn't really my kind of thing, but I'm gonna try out Splatoon on it and see how that works, because I need, I need a reason and a way to play Splatoon in handheld mode comfortably. Uh, I was considering getting those um, the Hori split pad, but this basically feels like that, just you have a grip on your Switch. Honestly, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see this product, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that, but I'll be linking their store down in the comment section and in the description if you guys are interested in supporting a small company. 
do so, I guess. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, like, I really do. Make sure that you're subscribed if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, check out my Twitch channel, my Instagram, and my Twitter for more content and updates to come, and feel free to join my Discord community where we watch movies, hang out in voice channels, and play video games with each other, and just vibe. Otherwise, until the next one, John Tenno 64 is out.